Greetings and salutations my friends, welcome back to another video. I'm in my cabin today because I want to have a rant about football, right? I want to have a rant and I thought, and it, I think getting out of your system is quite good and I've got a place on YouTube where I can do that, so that's what I'm about to do. And it's about the PSG versus Liverpool game. As many of you know, I am a Liverpool fan, you can tell from my Scouse accent, I always have to do that joke so people don't comment. Um, it, it's not about the actual the result. Um, Liverpool played poorly. PSG definitely deserved to win. I think in the second half, Liverpool edged it, but just didn't create enough. Um, but in, P in in the first half, PSG were were far dominant. Created, sliced us open a number of times. Um, probably should have scored maybe one or two more in that first half. And it, and it's not about that, right? What it is, what I have a problem with, is the gamesmanship of PSG and let me get this straight all teams do this right it's 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 in the premier league it's one of it's it is my single biggest hate in the premier league right and that is um diving and feigning injury and gamesmanship and argue or surrounding the ref like you're going to beat the shit out of him and all the sort of stuff that goes along with that, right? And I've always hated that in, in the Premier League. And I used to watch quite a bit of Spanish football. And I, it was, it's, I, for me, this is my opinion, obviously, um, it's, it's worse. It's exaggerated more so, especially the feigning injury stuff in the Premier League, uh, in, the, in the Spanish League. It's bad in the Premier League, but watching the other leagues, and that, that's maybe part of the reason why I don't watch those other leagues so much. But watching PSG yesterday was just embarrassing. That's the word, embarrassing. And this is not me being a hard loser. You, if if you know my channel, from I'm I'm not that sort of guy. Like I said, they fully deserve to win. Um, and Liverpool players have have done this sort of thing in the past. But what I'm saying is this extremeness of diving. Neymar is obviously the example that everybody's using and stuff like this, where. Every single time he falls over, whether it be a foul or he gets tripped or not a foul or a dive, he will roll about like he's there's a sniper in the crowd, right? It, it, it's disgusting. And the only reason, especially when, you know, it's it's a simple foul. Let's say he just gets brushed off the ball and and let's say, let's say the Liverpool player is, has fouled him and it's a perfectly legitimate foul. It's never in a million years a yellow card. It's never in a million years a red card. It's just a foul that you see millions of times in football. He will still roll about. The only reason you do that is to try and make the foul seem worse than it is so therefore you can get car the guy carded and stuff like this. And every free kick that is given to Liverpool or not given to PSG, the PSG players were surrounding the referee yelling. And like I said, I know this happens everywhere, but the, the, the extreme of watching PSG. There was a moment yesterday where, was it the defender, the, um, is it Motta, Thiago Motta for PSG, went... So he's defending in that sort of right back position in the byline and the Liverpool player's closing him down and basically he does that big sort of swingy clearance and you know you always sort of fall over backwards as you do those big clearances, scooping it up the line. And he just fell backwards and he and he bumped his head. Literally as hard as that, right? Just and he's like, oh, oh, my neck's my head's broken open. I've cracked my skull and all this sort of shit. They had, they had the medical team on and they were rubbing some bollocks on his head, checking for blood and all this sort of stuff. And I'm like, this is so bad. And it's so bad. It was embarrassing. And quite frankly, if the extreme that PSG did all that gamesmanship and stuff like this was everywhere. All Let's say all football teams were extre and players were ex as extreme as... PSG were I think I'd stop watching football I think it's that bad I couldn't just I would be so embarrassed I think to I think I just have to stop and like I said it's everywhere but the extreme end that I saw it was ridiculous there's one point Neymar fell over and because he got fouled and he has to do five more rolls and there was one time he fell on the floor and then he sort of Sort of convulsed a bit on the floor, like straight out. He looked like a sort of freshly caught salmon that you just beached. He was like this. It was it was utterly.
bonkers, right? And I think maybe what's... I could almost understand it. If you were a shit player, like, no offence, Robbie Savage, you know, you weren't blessed with the most skill. You can almost understand why you would do that sort of gamesmanship, that sort of shit housing, that sort of thing, because that's the only way you can get an edge on somebody. But when you're Ronaldo or Neymar or whatever, you're like... You're really good at football. You could just beat people playing really good football. Are you not embarrassed by what you're doing? And I think the biggest reason is because it seems to be accepted by the football community. It seems to be... And and it's such an easy thing to stop. When a player goes down, right, you... I know, I understand from, from an injury point of view, when they're feigning injury, it's often hard as a referee to book someone for feigning injury because you never even they, there might be only a one percent you know you know when somebody's rolling about they're not actually injured because if you've broken your leg or th- you'd be you wouldn't be moving right you'd be holding your leg going ow 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 you wouldn't be rolling about on it making it worse so but it's still really hard as a referee to just go look i'm booking you for simulation of injury um because there is that tiny chance what if you book someone and then he actually is injured. That would be a bit awkward and stuff. But it's so easily rectifiable in post-match. And it's like all of these things. You can stop these things by just doshing out yellow cards. Like I remember, was it three years ago, there was an incentive in the Premier League, or a new rule that said if you're, inc- if you're pushing in on the referee, if you're crowding the referee, you see him being shoved and shouted, sworn at right in their faces. That, and the referee started doshing out yellow cards. And it seemed to work, but then it slowly sort of faded away, that has. So that sort of stuff is so easily fixable. The football associations, FIFA, whoever, just need to say, right, referees, anybody gets in your face, boom, yellow card. It would stop. It's such a simple fix. I think that's what almost annoys me more than anything. And with the feigning of injuries, when it's clear that somebody is feigning an injury to waste time to break up the game and stuff like that, you saw the amount of feigning injuries when Liverpool were on top in that second half just to sort of break up the game. And it's easy for for somebody, uh, one of the officials after the game, to look at that Thiago Motto and go, "Okay, you weren't weren't injured. You go, retrospective yellow card, all that sort of thing. I I think there's so many easy ways to fix that sort of shit. Have a VAR for injuries. (laughs) Is he injured? We've gone to VAR. He's getting an X-ray. That sort of... (laughs) Maybe a bit too far. I, I... it embarrasses me as a football fan. Um, and I think I watched a Spencer Spencer FC, who's a FIFA YouTuber. He's doing this 30 days, 30 games thing where he either plays in or watches a game of football every day to raise money for Movember. And his video yesterday was like um, he got to referee a school kids game, like a 10 year olds game at a local school. And he said, oh, I loved it. I've forgotten what. It's like I'm so used to people ang- arguing with the referee and approaching the referee and surrounding referee. He says one kid kicked the ball and it hit me. And he said, sorry, ref, you know, this little nine year old kid. And he was like, it's amazing. When I'm watching football or playing football, the ball hits the ref and the player is screaming and telling this guy to fuck off and get out of his fucking way and stuff like this. And just it just gets away with it. And he says, it's nice to see this kid's football and sort of remember where it all started and how much fun football was. And, I, you know, it might be idealistic, but I feel, I feel like there's really easy ways to fix it. Let, I'd love to... I just need to get out of my system. I feel better for it. But I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments. Um, if you do find it a problem, um, if you're like me and you actually find it embarrassing that you're watching a sport where that sort of stuff goes on. Um, imagine if somebody did that in rugby. It, it, it would be laughed at out of his club, probably. Um, but I'd love to know your thoughts and your solutions, your, what your fixes for the problems and stuff, because it does, it does my absolute fucking head in. Right, so there we go. Rant's done. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.